This is literally me saying goodbye to being 24, which is crazy. Okay, okay, shh, 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 shh. They're not gonna come and attack you. They're in their room. She's so scared. Oh, okay. She does not wanna be in the intro. Oh no, ladies, don't stare at her. I feel like this eye is kind of bloodshot. It's really weird. Um, but anyway, hi guys, a happy Vlogmas episode 11 i believe we're on i think it is episode 11 of holidays it is basically my birthday tomorrow because it is the 14th of december today so it is my birthday eve which is so exciting i it's yeah it just comes around so fast every single year i actually can't believe i turn 25 tomorrow it's just actually madness but basically i need to talk to you guys a bit about what happened yesterday because i had an early birthday surprise yesterday which was very fun mom and em were just like oh holly we have a birthday surprise you have to see it right now there are some changes happening temporarily i'm basically moving out of my room to sleep somewhere else for now, I am basically gonna be sleeping in a double bed going forward, like in my actual room, but the bed is not in my room yet because we're getting a new mattress and everything. But yeah, my surprise was essentially a new bedding set. The duvet is like my favorite yellow color. My favorite color, I think we could say at this point, I love yellow. And yeah, I basically have a brand new double duvet set. I don't know if it's happening today or tomorrow, but basically I will be moving rooms temporarily because my bed is um, changing, which is actually really sad because this is like my original childhood bed. I've had this for years and I actually love it. It's an Ikea bed frame. But yeah, this might be the last time, one of the last times you've seen me sitting here. That's so sad. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's happening today, so I'm not gonna start getting upset right now. Okay. So the move to my new temporary room did actually start happening later that day. So mom and I firstly had to move off my mattress essentially. Oh, what's happening here? Look, I'm filmed, being filmed. Yeah, you are filmed. Oh God. So I'm not sure when I will be back sleeping in my room, but the plan is to move the double bed frame into my room basically. I don't think we should take it this way, but no, I'll do this, lift it this way. Oh, I can't get it. Yeah, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> hand oh, okay, I handle with it underneath the bottom. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Whoa! I'm not gonna see what they're gonna think. Whoa, this is a very low. Oh my god. Pillows. Yeah, two pillows. Mini, do you want to live in the sunken bed? Do you want that to be your bed, Milka? Okay. Looks so sad. That's the thing, I suppose I'll have to photograph it where before while well, it's built yeah. up and everything. My cot era has come to an end. My They're cot like, it's bed. It's a day bed. It's a, called a day bed. Yeah, I know it's called a day bed. They don't sell these anymore. No, they, they don't really sell. Good. It's vintage. Min Min, come on then. Up, up, come on. Ooh. Rachel thinks it's a tray. A litter tray? Do not poo in there, oh. Milka, please. Oi, are you pooing? Stop it. <laughs> Why? Hey. What? Is she doing anything? What are you doing, Milka? Oh, looks she's like she's weeing or something. No, she's not. Ooh. She's not you don't like it, oh, do that you? That was nice. Mm, that was very oh, beautiful. Right. We're not saying goodbye just yet, but I'm not sleeping there anymore. Sad times. Welcome to my temporary room. Um, I'm officially moving in, we could say. It is temporary. Like, this is not gonna be my new room officially. This is the spare room in our house. Um, but yeah, I'm sleeping in it for the first time, which is, yeah, it's just gonna be different, I guess. Um, I don't really like this gray blanket with the yellow duvet for now, but I might need it, I might get cold. I don't know where to put these cushions, but I might just go like this and then move this one to the chair so that they're kind of on the side i'm not really too sure to be honest with you it's really quite nice you know having a bedroom like an official place where i sleep and then my room still where i work obviously again this is not a permanent change but you know it'll be interesting to see how this kind of works i'm used to like one room that is multifunctional the lamp thing that's our wi-fi thing um everything's a thing to me as you guys know. I'm just gonna test it out for you guys. Well, I mean, I have already used this bed. Look at me in my new bed. It's gonna be great. Just a little change for now. 
and then we'll be back. It feels really kind of hot in this room. I prefer to sleep really, really cold um, and your body temperature does drop when you sleep. So it is good to sleep in a cooler room and I feel like this is gonna be too hot so I might have to turn the heating down. My mum has been checking it like the whole day. I actually think I'm gonna turn the heating off. Lol. I know that my ears are gonna go red and I'm gonna get stressed and I'm not gonna sleep if it's too hot. I'm very excited to try this out and uh, let you guys know how I sleep and wake up feeling fresh hopefully tomorrow morning. I would love to sit here and say that I had the best night's sleep but genuinely no. I didn't. I did not sleep at all well. I felt like I didn't sleep at all. I was like tossing and turning the whole night. All of the pillows off the end of the bed. Um, my hair was such a mess under the hair bonnet when I just took it off. I was like too hot. I couldn't like find a comfy position. The light thing from the Wi-Fi hub that I showed you guys yesterday, that annoyed me so I had to put a cushion over it. And yeah, I don't know if the pillows are like thick enough because I normally sleep with two or they're too soft, but I just felt like I was drowning because I was in a double bed and I'm not used to double beds. Yeah, it was just not a good night's sleep. And that's why when my alarm went off at 7 a.m. this morning, I was like, absolutely not. I'm not waking up at seven. Like I need some more sleep time i didn't really sleep i was just snoozing but yeah hopefully i kind of get used to it because this is the bed i'll be sleeping in oh i hate it when i don't get a good sleep i actually hate it i want to know what my watch says <laughs> i do just want to lie in bed but i also want to wake up now <sighs> this bed is like not even uncomfortable and normally I can sleep in different places but it really does depend like sometimes I struggle sleeping when I'm in different beds like when I'm away traveling other times it's fine but apparently in this bed we just don't want to sleep I definitely didn't need this blanket over me like I was way too hot good morning though good morning it is uh my birthday eve <laughs> seven hours 31 minutes sleep which actually isn't that bad sometimes i feel like you think that you haven't slept at all when you actually have which is really kind of weird this bed is literally gonna become a dumping ground i swear um i'm back in my room by the way i'm gonna get dressed get ready to hopefully run outside today mom just basically came and asked me which side of the bed did i sleep on um that's another thing with a double bed. I don't know where to sleep. As I said, I just feel like I'm drowning. I didn't know whether to sleep on the left or the right side. I think I was in the middle most of the time, but I don't even know. I just don't get it. Where do you sleep in a double bed? Like if you're in the bed on your own, it just feels so big. Ah, whoa, hello. We still have loads of snow. I really don't want to run on the treadmill. I really don't. But if it's still icy on the roads, which it probably will be, I don't really have an option. Oh, the radiator is warm. Like, I can appreciate warmth now, but not when I'm sleeping. Absolutely not. Is anyone else, like, really sensitive to temperature when they sleep? I also went through a period in the summer, and it kind of happened yesterday, although not as much, where I had, like, night sweats, I think it's called. I would be sweating, like, the whole night, but I'd be cold. I'd wake up and my pajamas would be wet with sweat. I'm not even joking, like, dripping wet, because I was just sweating profusely, but I would be freezing. Um, it was so weird, um, and I don't really know why that was, but yeah, sorry, that was really random, and, um, yeah, I don't know if anyone else has had the same experience, but fun times, night sweats are not fun at all. Why are you on the worktop? Mom doesn't like it when you're on the worktop. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> She's so cute. She's literally sleeping in such a random position in the house at the moment, like, she'll just be in the middle of the floor, presumably because that's where it's warmest. Um, for her little bum cheeks. I went on a run this morning. I had to like walk quite a few times, but it was so nice to be out in the fresh air instead of on the treadmill. And um, yeah, what do you want? You want to sleep in my new bed? I'm not gonna let you milk her because I never sleep with milker. I've tried it many times. I would love to sleep with a cat, but I just can't. This is the spare room, as I said. I'm gonna turn the heating back on because I turned it off yesterday. It hasn't been used that much at all, um, but we do have the full set of Harry Potter books. This is the only adult book in the collection, but we do have all of them, which is really cool. Obviously, I'm allowed to talk about Harry Potter books, but I feel like it's a bit controversial. I'm not really too hot on that stuff, but I apologize. I just wanted to say we have Harry Potter books. Um, yeah, I haven't read them as well. 
I have a bit of a headache today like I was editing and just at my desk on my Mac and yeah I feel like it's because I am a bit tired um, and this bloodshot eye thing is kind of a bit weird. But I've been trying to not be on my screens as much as I said in like my last video. I think I'm gonna run down to the gym even though I did run this morning. I often do double run days now at the moment so I'll run down to the gym do a bit of a workout and then get back before it's dark. It's currently half two, maybe quarter to three, and it goes dark at like four. So technically I have enough time. Yeah, I might try and do some like organization. I actually need to sort that light out today, um, cover it up. Um, but yeah, do some organization in my room. It gets to the point these days when I just don't know what I have still in my drawers sometimes and it really frustrates me. I either choose to keep stuff, use it, or like, sell it, donate it, do something with it, give it to a family member, I don't know. I just feel like I have too much and I need to organize quite a bit of stuff. We're walking because it's icy this bit, so I have to walk and run as I said this morning. I don't know whether to make this like a standalone run or to actually stop off at the gym. Oh my God, ice. Um, because I don't want to be running back in the dark when I can't see where the ice is. Um, I don't know what to do. Something that I hate is my feet slipping um when i like lose my balance or i can't control my feet there's more ice i actually hate that i need to go on the road but now there's a bus so i did actually decide to stop off in the gym just because my hands were so cold and i thought that i would warm up if i went to the gym and it actually worked so i did some strength training this was just a bit of full body stuff so i used my dumbbells to do some lower body exercises and then some stretching upper body and some abs so as i said it was a bit of full body I did end up running back when it was quite dark, but I could see everything properly and I didn't slip on ice, which was my only wish for that run back home. And yeah, as I said, I then decided to do some organization, which I will continue doing on another day and in another episode. But I just started with this drawer in my wardrobe, which was so messy. Every time I opened it, I just dreaded looking inside. And then I also moved to organize the drawer I have in the ensuite. Oh, that stinks. That's not very that day. No, no, it's not that day. It's just is the body shop further. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. Look what I found. I want to smell like a dog. Where's that what? from? Oh, which one? About which company is that? Is that body shop? Nature's ingredients. M and S. M and S. Oh, you probably got that from Nana that time. Mmm, lovely. I sometimes put. Oh. Oops. Well, you don't want that then. Is you can use that one. one. Yeah, I can use this one. I'm just not really yes. a fan of the smell. No, it's like, oh, that's better than that other one that I've got. Yeah, and that's dreadful. <laughs> I didn't show the before, but my drawer looks a lot better. Before it was like crammed and rammed full. This is Emily's one. Is it everything you use? On the um, I wouldn't say I use everything in here, but I have been through it. This is mum. They can't even no, see it. Mum is just mine. Yeah, I'll do mine He showed interest in those. He really liked it. Well, you don't need it. It's no, dull. I don't use these ones. Matthew wanted these. Well, they're just throwing it in. Wait a minute. Don't just throw it in there. You said mine. you were going to use it, Matt. Well, I didn't say anything. You started plonking it in there. Hair yeah, oil. Some of these be quite good. I'll put some on your hair one A day, nice Matthew. elixir for his locks. <laughs> I love how Matthew's drawer is like. I just gets nudged over. <laughs> and that was a good organization session. I did um, my drawer in the ensuite, and then I also did my cupboard or the part of my wardrobe over there. I also, do you know what I also did? I updated my phone to iOS 16, which is the latest update. I know it's been out for a while now, but I still haven't done it. I thought I would turn 25 with iOS 16. Um, this ethic bar, um, which I can use in the shower, it says apply after you've had a shower to damp skin sweet orange and vanilla oh it's hot oh it's a heart shape oh that's so cute oh it smells so nice hello no, it's, cram it's, it's cranberry joy body butter which oh smell this joy. don't that? look at it try and guess yeah. what it is vanilla yes vanilla with what oh let me smell again Vanilla with vanilla. No, um, it's orange. Oh, what solid, is that? Is that a shampoo bar? It's a solid butter block. I need to start using up my products. <laughs> yeah, you do. I nearly bought a phone case, very similar to yours today. Oh, what, yellow? Yeah. 
Yeah, it was yellow. It was like pay. I don't think oh, it was Oh, you're bright. copying me now with my. I know, like, but I couldn't be bothered to queue in the place. It was only one pound fifty. Right. Shower time for your time. I haven't specifically said, but they are our Christmas lights outside, um, around the house, and then our double Christmas tree. Um, but yeah, I actually organised this drawer in the kitchen yesterday. The top of this cupboard has like powders um, and stuff like that, so I was going through that yesterday, as I said, which was good. <gasps> I just really hope I sleep in this bed today. There's no heating on. I've covered the light. So, in theory, I should sleep. But yeah, I am gonna go to bed. And obviously, when you're watching this video, it will be my birthday. Um, if everything goes to plan with me uploading every single day. I hope you guys, anyway, enjoyed this video. Um, the next one will, well, it should be my birthday vlog. But if not, it will be a different one because it's taking me longer to edit. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys are excited to see that one. And yeah, I am very excited for my birthday tomorrow, obviously. This is literally me saying goodbye to being 24 which is crazy um but yeah 24 has been an incredible year like i don't want to get emotional now because it's not my actual birthday but yeah it just has been like a crazy year but like one of the best years i'd say in my life um i'm getting emotional and i don't want to get emotional um but yeah i love this duvet i love the yellow color it's so good and it kind of matches my phone but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of holidays vlogmas like if you did enjoy it comment down below subscribe if you are new and hit the bell so you know when you upload as i said before this is goodbye 24 and i guess i will see you when i am 25 <laughs> bye Oh my god, what's happening outside? We kind of changed over. Sorry, there's hair in my mouth as always. It'll be okay. I'm sure I'll sleep. Hopefully. Ice, ice the baby. Yep. I can't get my words out. <laughs> Let's go get mini. Boom, boom, boom. Milk up. Mini. Let me get my top off the bed. Oh, hello, I'm burping. Oh my god, that's the burp of the video, I swear. Every Every time I burp. Oh, and I grow up. Currently still walking. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh. Like. I just wanted a good sleep. Mm. Can you see that? You can't really see the color. Um, let me just get my head out of the camera shot. Turning 25 is honestly crazy. I'm just like, what? Like, okay.